Good morning guys, I'm here in Piazza Navona. It's such a beautiful day and today I wanted to film a video talking about some tips for your photography when you come to Rome. I know a lot of people want really good pictures when they're on vacation, so I just wanted to share some little tips and tricks for you to have photos that stand out, that you'll really love, and how to have a better eye when you're taking pictures in Rome. Let's go explore and I'll share some of these photography tips with you. Man, vlogging in public never gets easier. People are just staring and I feel so stupid. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so my first tip is if you want photos without a bunch of people in them, definitely get out early. It's about 10.30 right now on a random Thursday and it's pretty crowded, so. If you want photos with no people, get out early. Okay, another tip I have is to shoot through things. Like find things to have in the foreground and it'll bring more attention and make the focus really pop. So right now I want the column and the church to pop. So I'm gonna use this building as the foreground and it'll be really blurry and then that will be more in focus. So when you can play with the foreground and shoot through objects, um, it really gives you a more unique photograph. Now, I didn't want to do the video in major tourist sites. I just stopped off the bus at Piazza Navona. So we're just starting here, but we are about to leave and go to some more secluded back streets. Something I like to point out to all my photography clients because we do come to Piazza Navona is that around the corner you can actually tour underground and right here is the ancient uh, gate, the ancient entrance. So Piazza Navona used to be a stadium for chariot racing and this was part of the ancient gate and you can take a tour underground and learn more about what that used to be like. So I think that's really cool. And also, how in the heck do they build on top of something like this so that there's a whole piazza right there? I don't know, I think that's a really cool fact. But onto the video. Okay, okay here we are. We are on Via de Coronari. This is a very picturesque little street. Some cafes, lots of little shops. It's really quiet, so I feel like I'm whispering. <laughs> I think the light right here is really beautiful and I'm gonna use that same tip from before of shooting through, maybe through the leaves. Oh, the ivy's all turning red now. It's so pretty. I usually pose my clients right here with that building. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love doors. My whole Instagram has doors all over it. So I love to photograph doors. And my next tip is to pay attention to the details because the details in Rome are very beautiful. So things like door knockers, the texture of the wood or like the chipping paint, those details I think are really stunning. Oh, and a fun fact right here, this corridor 
is actually the smallest street in Rome. If you come in here, you can actually see that it has a street sign. Take a photo for you. So this is the narrowest, smallest street in Rome. So one of my favorite movies um, that takes place in Italy is Under the Tuscan Sun. You know the scene where she's running away from those guys chasing her and she meets Marcello and she kisses him um, and pretends that he's her husband? That happens right here at this door and this fountain. Okay, again, this is one of my favorite doors just because of the textures and the colors. So I like to get dead center how beautiful is that? And sounds strange, but I love this plant because of the texture on the wall. It's just beautiful. Okay, do you see this fat pigeon taking a bath? I love that. <laughs> In the springtime, this wall with this vine is all jasmine and it smells so good. Okay, one other thing I want to point out is that Rome is filled with this um, material called spolia, which is Latin for like reused materials. And you really have to have an eye for it sometimes. Like we are walking right up to one right now. This is spolia. This was something from ancient Rome that they have saved and reused and embedded into the facade of a newer building. So that is, I don't know, my history nerd self just really loves looking for spolia. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. So I love to pay attention to that. That's my other tip. Look for spolia. See all the Christmas lights being put out, beginning to be festive. Another tip is to look up. There are lots of shrines, lots of plants, lots of pretty lamps, light pictures. Also, sometimes you can see inside people's windows and some buildings have the most gorgeous frescoes and chandeliers. Maybe that falls under the category of paying attention to details, but look up. I know you have to look down because there's lots of dog poop on the ground and you, know, you don't want to step in anything, but remember to look up as well. Like this um, wall cracking. I don't know why, but I love details like that. I think it's because it's old. And I love old things. Or like this chipped paint behind this ivy, I think is so pretty. I don't know why. I just, yeah, I think that's so pretty.
the door isn't the prettiest, but if you look at this stone, that's really old. So I'm gonna take a picture of that and maybe Photoshop the door handle. Let's play around with that. Yeah, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm excited to Photoshop that. That'll be fun. Okay, we're nearing the end of this walking video. There's just one more spot I wanted to photograph. I adore the architecture in Rome. I don't know, I think those details are just really pretty. where I wanted to go but I don't know where the van is going. I think this corner building is so pretty. And again I just love to center myself in front of things. I think it's people have told me I have like a Wes Anderson style but I just love symmetry. Okay, any other detail that I'm missing? I don't think so. Sorry for the noise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao friends.